Hi, my name is Matt. I'm with the OptiScience customer success team. In this short video, I'd like to show you how to configure schedules within the OptiScience web portal, app.optiscience.com. First, you'll need to log in. After you log in, you'll be brought to the screens page. For this demonstration, we're going to operate under a few assumptions. We're going to assume that you already have your screens paired to the web portal. We're going to assume that you've already created and uploaded your files, assets, and applications. And we're going to assume that you've already configured your playlists with those files, assets, and applications. So we're going to go ahead and open up our schedules page. There are two main sections to the schedules page. On the left hand side, we have our options for creating new schedules and organizing our existing schedules. And on the right hand side, we have our schedule configuration menu. There's a few options to cover within the schedule configuration menu. You have the main area in the center that shows you the timeframes for your event. We have the options to view monthly, weekly, and daily timeframes. We have the option to name our schedule, push our schedules to the screens, add events to our schedule, and even add default content. Default content is if your schedule is assigned to the screen, but there is not an event currently scheduled, it is what will play on the screen when there is nothing scheduled. You can use an account default or assign your own asset or playlist to play as the default. We'll go ahead and create a new schedule to show you the process. First, select Create Schedule on the left-hand side. You'll want to name your schedule. You can name your schedule with the pencil icon next to the name at the top. By default, you'll be brought to the weekly view. So we're going to do an event from 6.30 to 9.30 a.m. And we'll go ahead and select that. We'll want to choose the type of content we'd like to play during that event. We'll go ahead and I will have a playlist playing. We have our time menu here. Now in the default interface, the drag and drop, you're able to choose 30 minute intervals, but within the time sub menu, you're able to get your events down to the minute, allowing for very precise scheduling. And we have our repeat option. Within our repeat option, we have a few pre-configured options and I'll show you the custom options as well. We also have our custom occurrences menu, which allows you to choose how many times it repeats, weekly, monthly, annually. You can even have it play, you know, multiple days a week on Monday, Thursday, and Saturday or Sunday, for example. For this example, we're actually gonna use the uh, daily so you can see it fill out the schedule here. You can choose event colors to keep your different events on your schedule separated and more easy to organize. And then once you've configured all of your options here, you'd want to save. Now that we've saved it, you can see even though we only configured it for one day, it automatically filled in our schedule for the remainder of the month. If we go back to the monthly view, anything outside of these time frames is going to show our default. And then during these time frames, it will be showing our example playlist. You can push your schedules again directly to the screens from the schedules tab or assign the content from the edit menu on the screens tab. And that is how you can make and configure schedules within the OptiScience web portal. If you have any technical questions or concerns, you can always reach our support team at support at or with the little green help buttons in the bottom right hand corner of the web portal.